Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you guys are as I was saying, welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you guys come back to my channel. I am so glad you guys came back. Um I'm not liking this arrangement here. I don't know why they invented spinny chairs, but spinny chairs only spin this way or that way, but not straight at you guys. And I think it's time to throw in a towel with iRobot Lily. Throw in the towel because I have not received an update. Speaking of throwing a towel, now the Roomba J7 can actually avoid towels, socks, shoes, and even poo. Unfortunately, the J7 does not like magical unicorns, so Sparkles was taken out, and sad day, he never survived. Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about iRobot Genius 4.0, uh, the software update, which basically has some minor tweaks, but there's some major ones as well. So, in a nutshell, the Genius 4.0 software includes the i3, i4 with the room stack. Also, across all the Roomba model lineup, they get a child lock feature, they also get a nap feature. Basically, it stands for Never Await People or Pets, that is called NAPP. Also, under this software umbrella, you get uh, a new naming on the i3 and i4, so it's now called the EVO, and with the EVO, it's priced at $349 with just the robot, or $549 with the self emptying system. Now, that's basically the software in a nutshell, but let's go and just dive deeper into what this entails. Let's talk about the minor trees. So, NAP, like I said, never await people or pets. NAP allows you to lock out the clean button, so if you have a young person or a pet that's curious, they will actually bump their nose and activate the robot. Now, this is also handy when a robot's going under low hanging furniture and something actually bumps into it. I have had a robot vacuum literally stop itself a few times since the uh, clean button was activated. Okay, so the next minor tweak is the fact that you can have a do not disturb mode or what, what iRobot calls it nap. Basically, it just signs the robot so the self emptying or the robot won't go out and awake you. Now, I think the biggest update is with the i3, i4. Again, with that new software, you can actually tell the robot to clean a specific room. Yes, the i3 did have that capability of spot mapping, but they didn't implement any features. But now we have those edible uh, maps. So, very, very cool. So, if iRobot can create a gyro based for a vacuum that can go to a certain room, well, hopefully, companies that follow suit and have gyro based robots on the market can do the same thing. Alright, so the last thing I want to talk about is the Siri shortcut. Yes, with the Siri, you can actually tell it to clean everywhere. Not a huge update on that part, but it's nice to have if you're an iPhone user. Maybe they can get room stuck like they have with the Amazon Assistant. Hey, Amazon, clean kitchen. Okay. I'll tell Roomba J7 to vacuum the kitchen. Alright, so that's just the quick look at the Genius 4.0 software update. Hope you like this video. And if you have any questions about the Roombas or the Bravo Jet M6 or the Mopping Robots, let me know down in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Alright, adios.